Okay, okay, you think that humiliates me? You, I, I don't care. Oscar De La Hoya does it. What? Diane, didn't your first husband blow his brains out? Oh, God! <laughs> Tonight at 11, I eat a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios, already knowing myself to be violently lactose intolerant. Will I still eat the cereal, knowing that I have to stay close to a toilet for the next two and a half days? Will I shoot myself? <laughs> Find out at 11. Coming up, handsome mustachy old man recaps news in pleasing baritone. Stay tuned for this and more. <laughs> hey, hey, I reckon yeah! What the f <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad that that's that funny, man. As you from the television, you're Tom Tucker. I bet you can do this. Can my wife, Stacy, get you anything? Go to hell, Tom. Already there, hon. A local boy <laughs> dies after playing video games for 51 hours straight. He was playing Halo, now he has a Halo. Just kidding, he was gay. <laughs> because of an accident today at the Quahog Cable Company, all television transmission will be out for an undetermined amount of time. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Diane? Well, Tom, I just plain don't like black people. <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? <laughs> ah, I see my colleague Tom Tucker is already on the scene. Who's that, baby? <laughs> Hello, this is Tom Tucker. This is evil twin Todd Tucker, out to destroy his brother's reputation. Yep. Ha ha ha. Now I'm going back inside to have freaky sex with my prostitute, with yep. whom I still have 45 minutes. Yep. Oh my god, they've opened fire. All right, looks like things are getting very heated here. Uh, this is not uh, a safe place to be. Uh, <laughs> and now sports. Next up, stay tuned for our special investigative report on the clitoris, nature's Rubik's Cube. Well, Diane, that last report was so good, I think you deserve a spanking. Oh, Tom, I don't think your wife would appreciate that. Diane, that frigid old cow lives in Quahog. She can't hear a word I'm saying. Actually, we're back on the air in Quahog. <laughs> Quite a situation we've got here, Tom. Quite a situation we've got here, Tom, indeed, Diane. Today, the Quahog River was dyed red in honor of Valentine's Day. So, if you're looking to do a river murder, this could be your window. Over 200 reports of ear sex have been confirmed so far, prompting a new slogan. Once you go black, you go deaf. Look at you, you fat, gross Moroccans, with your ooga booga food. Coming What's up, ooga yesterday's ooga brisket. <clears throat> Risk it. But first, breaking news. They want me to be the new artistic director of the Quahog Players. All right, Mom! Are you going to do it? I don't know. It's such a big responsibility. I, I need a moment to think. Okay, I'll do it. This just in, Lois Griffin has been named the new artistic director of the Quahog Players. Is this the Quahog Mustache Society? Yes, it is. What's the secret password? Mustache. All right, come on in. Scientists announced today that if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Ah! <laughs> oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, that's not even really news. Point of mustache. The chair recognizes your mustache. Have we discussed what to send Wilford Brimley next month as it is the 70th birthday of his mustache? Oh, I think we just send a nice card. Just make sure it has a mustache on it. Point of mustache. The chair recognizes your mustache. What can we as citizens do about mustache awareness? Good mustache question. We have a new product in our mustache catalog that makes a great stocking stuffer. We call it the Mustache. The slogan is, you mustache your mustache in the mustache. That'll be all for today. Good mustache. Good, Good mustache. mustache. Good evening, everyone. Our top story... Marijuana is now legal. Le le is now legal. Legal in Quahog. And it's made everything just so great. What type of shit is your king to be? Or king to be? <laughs> ah! Ah! What the? I will be playing the role of Anna in the Quahog Players production of The King and I. Tom? Thanks, Diane. In other news, I won't be going to the play because I'm sure it will be lousy. Tom, I'm getting late word that you're a petty, jealous closet case. Bit of breaking news. We now go live to Diane being a bitch, Diane. From at Jenny94, water seriously cold, yo. Here's at the Ted 69 I'm gonna survive this, LOL, JK. JK, indeed. Greg the Weather Mime. Okay, it's going to be cold, very cold, and, and, and there's going to be wind. 
And people's parents will throw fecal matter down on them from the rooftops. How awful! Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That's, that's rain. Y yes. It'll rain. Yeah, there's an evil monkey in my closet! I don't care, son. I just do not care. Coming up, important traffic news that can't help you because you're someplace where a TV is. Since the laws of death no longer apply, I can do this. That's right, Tom. <laughs> and now it's time for sports. Oh! We wrote this program yeah. because I have had kind of a crap day, and I know all the station passwords to do it. So smell that finger, Coog. Rain continues to pound Rhode Island. Let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, who's gonna tell us all about the rain. Our top story, a local Yankee fan's dream comes true when he's diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. Well, there you have it. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Some damn fine reporting. And that is why chest hair is on its way back. And both sides appear to be at an impasse, so ground control is telling Major Tom this could be a long one. <laughs> Does anyone else like David Bowie? If I was the news reporter in that situation, I'd have been like, so this is going to be a long one. A really long one. Now to Ollie for weather. Ollie? He meant sex! <laughs> <laughs> appear to be at an impasse, so ground control is telling Major Tom this could be a long one. <laughs> Does anyone else like David Bowie? A really long one. Mr. Tucker. I'm coming. Wow. Our next spelling bee contestant is Omar Mahajarifa something September 11th. Wish it, want it, do it. <laughs> Am I pronouncing that correctly? Uh, yeah. And it's non-fiction, right? Uh, yes, it is. Now, now, which one is that? I, I always forget. Is that the one that really happened or not? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, so th so now so this is this is a true story. Well, it's not really a narrative. Doesn't matter. I'm hooked. Peter Griffin and Omar North Tower. Omar, you'll be going first. Your word is coagulate. C O A G A. Oh, I'm sorry, Omar. Bet you could spell box cutter. I'm nine years old and I'm Indian. A police spokesperson was quoted as saying, Duh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I bet you can spell box cutter. Bro, that's that's dastardly funny. That's funny, bro. I feel like if a spelling bee judge really said that to an Indian child in real life, like he'd get in trouble. But it was funny. That crap's funny as hell. Is coagulate. C-O-A-G-A. -A. Oh, I'm sorry, Omar. Bet you could spell box cutter. I'm nine years old, and I'm Indian! A police spokesperson was quoted as saying, Duh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I was going like 41. It appears a new challenger has entered the field. The crowd has fallen deathly ill. Silent. Sorry. It's a tough world here. You hear about it every night on the dog ah! news. Coming up, that bush in the park is my bush. It's my bush. Your word is lesbians. Can you use it in a sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping for double-headed marital aids. To him. Wait! Can you use it in a libelous sentence? Gillian Anderson and Helen Hunt are lesbians. L-E-S-B-I-A-N-S. -E Correct! Today we bring you a disturbing case of child pornography. Local teenage scumbag Chris Griffin, whose name will be omitted here, was caught sending quote-unquote graphic selfies of his hog not sure where that quote is from, to another underage student. Coming up next, teleprompter guy puts the period in a weird place. Would you consider growing a mustache? Uh, I guess so. Question number two. Look at my mustache. Do you think it tickles women when I kiss them? I... I don't know. Wrong. The answer is only slightly. Only slightly. When licked, these toads trigger an intense psychedelic euphoria that's... that's just great. Look, I'm turning down the thermostat. See Diane's erect nipples at 11. Coming up next, a pig who refuses to eat Jews? He won a local Emmy for his work with the retardeds. They certainly wanted to hug me. Maybe in time you will too. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Tucker. Good night. <laughs> Apparently there were 100 kilos of cocaine right here in Quahog. And yet my guy can't get dick. Lando Griffin, a popular student at a local high school, was killed last night when his motorcycle careened off dead man's curve. Police were baffled when no body was found at the scene, 
But they decided it was best not to ask questions and just let everyone get on with their lives. Oh my god, you guys. We must have fallen asleep. We're in the dream right now! That's right, you are in a dream, children, which means you are going to get something of a serious scratching by me, Freddy Krueger. Ha ha. Is it... is it Krueger? Chris Griffin, a weaver of dreams at the loom of the mind. A weaver of dreams at the loom of the mind. A neat thing I just said. And now sports! I want some ice cream. No, Peter, you finish your food. You... hey! You, you get back here right now, mister. Yep. Don't, don't you... you gotta hit him. Get down from that chair or you're in big trouble. You gotta hit him. You... you put that ice cream back right now. Hit him in the face. I mean it. The only way. I am not kidding around. The only way. I am not gonna say it again. You gotta hit him. Uh, if you put that ice cream in your mouth, you're gonna be in big Violence. trouble, young man. <laughs> D you... Uh, uh. Violence is the answer. <laughs> I hate you! I hate you! I want my mommy! Well, I'm the best you've got! No. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and the reason I'm wearing this mask is because we've got a Make-A-Wish kid in the studio tonight, who, as you'll find out as the show goes on, is quite a coffer. In local news, Mayor West signed a bill today. <coughs> See, that's, that's what I was talking about. <coughs> are we going to get that, or, or are we going to wait for commercial? Oh. No, no, you have to spray it. You can't just wipe... You know what? Let's just throw the whole camera out. Hey, that was quite a rant there. You know, we're looking for an everyman to rant about petty, nonsensical irritants to replace our Spotlight on the Middle East segment. What the hell is in this? Sweet and low. That's for trying to steal my woman. Go back and bring it to me with urine in it like I asked. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. The man who <laughs> held the Guinness World Record for most drugs ever done by a single human being died today. He was attacked by a pack of wild dogs he thought he saw. Oh, oh God. What's that? Sweet and low. That's what you get for trying to steal my girl. Who is writing this stuff? Where are they getting these ideas? Like, hey, remember that one time we ran out of sweet and low and so we just pissed in our coffee and drank that and it was actually delicious? So you guys down to get peed on. Y'all don't deserve to, to hear what type of nasty, sick shit I'm into, man. Really razzes my berries. <laughs> Oh my god, what happened? I fell through a trap door that led to an underground passageway. So I followed it and it led me to a hatch over there in the parlor. The same thing happened to me, but with a mustache. Oh god. Good evening, I'm Michael Myers. I have enormous psychological problems and I'm going to take them out on you. In other news, after several grueling days of frightening uncertainty, I finally get my period. Well, Diane, I'm sure you and your brother must be devastated by the loss of the 200 <laughs> offspring that might have been. <laughs> Oh, bro, actually, you can and should, because that shit's funny. I can see me doing that to somebody, but I would really, it would, we would have to have the funniest relationship ever for that to work. You know I mean, it can't be me having a real enemy and then doing that to him, because that would be a fight. Women, they don't fight fair. This guy, they use staplers, a butter knife with poison on it, a seaweed wrap. That's why I run, you know what I'm saying? I, I've lost a lot of fights to women, man. After several grueling days of frightening uncertainty, I finally get my period. Well, Diane, I'm sure you and your brother must be devastated by the loss of the two-headed offspring that might have been. Gotta get the energy up. What? 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 It. Coming up next, what a energy? boxing match where the fighters are bleeding before the fight? We've got exclusive coverage of tonight's women's boxing bout, Griffin versus Jackson. School children washing cars to raise money for charity. Is there anything more arousing? What I did was wrong. Ah! And as an ah! act of contrition, I will now ins- Wow! Insert this carnivorous earwig into my brain. No, no, no. <laughs> kind of tickles. No. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Ah! ah! Shit! Oh, God! It's eating out the back of my eyes! It's nice to meet you, Martin. Thank you, Mrs. Huxtable. So, if you guys are a family, why are none of you the same shade of black? Oh! That's real. This is totally unacceptable. How long are you going to be? I'm very hungry. You're fired, Tom. Hey, look. I'll still eat it, but I got like a five minute rule. So if you could wrap this up in three or under, I could get back to eating my fully cooked steak. But if you take more than seven minutes, then I'm gonna have to scrape it off of my steak before I eat it. So hurry up. I'm turning your press pass in any other studio property. Oh, excuse me. How you Look turning your Manzelli? mustache? Good evening, I'm Ed Manzelli. What can I do for you? 
I'm looking for a guy who used to work here. Name's Mario. You got any idea where he could be? I haven't seen him in over a month. That's the end of my line. Is he Mexican? Is that racist? Your line, NCIS. You son of a bitch, you made me feel again. Oh, don't you go, cause I'll go. <laughs> what? The now former mayor has given the key to the city back to the Huron Indian tribe. So farewell, Detroit. Huron. From Bob Seeger to Axel Foley, we never really cared. Hey. Come on! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, that's it! Oh my that's god! It. Oh. That's it! Yes! No! Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. No. Eat my dust, Crash Bandicoot! The oh. restaurant oh. has gone into foreclosure oh, and will god. be up for auction tomorrow. Yeah, it's hard to believe a place where you eat with your hands next to piles of horse dung while untrained theater students fight with real swords could be drowning in lawsuits. Good cohog evening. Oh, let's, uh, let's do that again. Good evening, Hog Quo, I'm Tucker Tom. Nope. Good after evening noon, Hog Tom, Quo, I'm her Tuck. Quo, good evening noon, Tom or Tuck, I'm Ning Ning after evening, Quo, Noon Hog. Our top story. Hear that, Neil? I don't like you, and I never will. That's <coughs> you, Tom. Thank you, Meg. I guess beggars can be choosers. We've got some on and off drizzle here today, and we're a little wet, as you can see, because apparently there are no awnings that... Actually, when I was younger, I used to be a superhero named the Drizzle, you know what I'm saying? And I had the power of precipitation at my fingertips. Like, any point of time when stuff wasn't going good, sheets of rain, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking just a whole waterfall full of destruction and chaos, you know what I mean? Just start shooting the, the rain water uh from the sky directly into my enemies faces and they wouldn't be able to do nothing they'd be like ah you know what i mean like that's just the power of, of precipitation because if you can bend uh uh <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am i talking about exist anywhere there's your top news story right there. Mysterious awning shortage ravages the Northeast, but miraculously has not affected channels two or six. Mm -hmm. Channels two or six? No, no, keep the camera over there. I want everyone to see it. This is why we're third. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. I've deleted all my old tweets, so don't even bother looking for bad stuff. Screen grabs can be faked. Today, we'll see some of Quahog's finest athletes struggle valiantly against God's twisted designs. You'll cheer, you'll cry, you might even get a cheap laugh or two. I know I will, Tom. In fact, there's the distinct possibility that by the end of the day, we'll all be going to hell. I'll see you there, Diane. We're here at the 17th hole, where Peter <laughs> Griffin and Cleveland Jr. are five strokes ahead, making victory all but a certainty. What? You can put a picture. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> because of the setting in the background, I really thought that the strokes meant the golf club. I had no idea he was talking about himself. You now, can put a picture of a note above my shoulder anytime now, Tommy. No, that's the Rose Bowl Parade. That's the Pumpkin Festival. Okay, okay, you think that humiliates me? You, I, I don't care. Oscar De La Hoya does it. What? Diane, didn't your first husband blow his brains out? Oh, God! <laughs> Coming up, America's hottest new curse word, Kleeman. We'll tell you what it means after this. Big news out of Six Flags Columbus today as they unveil what promises to be the largest roller coaster in the United States. That's right, Joyce. They call it the Holocaust. The ride has several Jewish groups up in arms as they go over the first rise. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm kidding. They're, they're actually pretty upset. We will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. At least it's not sperm. It usually is. And that's a drum that we all can beat our... to. Set... More at 11. See, I'm getting better. It's Portland. And I'm T, homie, no. with the news no, no. in your mouth! No! No! No. Tom's about to tattoo I mean, I the word Coachella this, though, on the I bridge agree, of his like... nose. Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know, Grandma. I sit back and watch. Ah, he got his God. eye. What's wrong with you, Dallas? Never seen a guy so young and cool before. <coughs> Tumblr! <laughs> Tumblr! Mr. Tucker, thank God you're here. Someone's gonna do something. He's gonna fall. I'm on it, Meg. Hey, have that cartoon sound effect guy cue up the... And then top it off with a... What? And if there's time before what? commercial, be ready with a wah, 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 wah. Wow! Wow! I was born to be a newsman. This just out, me. Coming up, lost dog comes home, one piece at a time. Is there anything we can do to make the news more appealing to you? Maybe. I guess you could lose the mustache. Lose my mustache? Well, 
Gosh, I, I don't know. My birthmark makes it kind of tough. Always caused me problems at my old job. And that'll do it for us here at Channel 12 News. Make sure you turn those clocks ahead. Mother. Good night, St. Louis. The local family is forced out of their home by ghosts. Who are they going to call? <sighs> Ghostbusters, Tom? No, Diane. They're insurance company. That's just stupid what you said. Oh, wow. Diane Simmons. You don't look anything like the ad. You better be huge. Be careful yeah! next time you're at confession telling the priest about cheating on your wife with that Filipino drag queen. Yeah! Well, at least... <laughs> is it bad that that makes me like her a little bit, bro? I don't know why my brain is just like. Yep, there she is. Yep. <laughs> Be careful next time you're at confession telling the priest about cheating on your wife with that Filipino drag queen. Well, at least you're in no danger, Diane, since you only visit church to leave your self delivered, unwashed, half dead newborns on the back step. Meanwhile, here at home, Quahog remains in the sweltering grip of a freak heat wave. Uh, I don't think you should use the word freak, Diane. Some people might find it offensive. Ah! Finish your oatmeal, son. Why bother? Ah! I'm just a freak! A freak! <laughs> We're all a little different, Diane, each one of us. Good point, Tom. We're certainly feeling the effects of this heat wave even here in our studio. <laughs> Freak. So <laughs> stay inside and stay cool. <laughs> 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 that bitch ain't shit. That bitch ain't shit for that. Is she giving birth? Why does she just like, oh, snap. She's, she's smashing the homeless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a breaking news story. We apologize to Joan of Arcadia's sanctimonious, fear-based, and probably overweight viewers. Well, what do you think, Diane? Can I cook or what? I'm delicious, Tom. I guess we should be eating her with chopsticks. <laughs> oh, my God. They're eating Asian reporter Trisha Takanoa. It's crazy. They're just going to be hungry again in an hour. Yeah, true that. Well, it's an exciting day for all here at the Renaissance oh. Fair Jousting Meet, wouldn't you say, Tom? Diane, I'd say it was a perfect day if you weren't reminding us all of our grandmother's cleavage. Oh, were you playing Lady Tiang? Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be Anna. Oh. Well, they did an all-you-people version of Hello, Dolly that was very successful. All Today, we'll people. see some of Quahog's finest athletes struggle valiantly against God's twisted designs. You'll cheer, you'll cry, you might even get a cheap laugh or two. I know I will, Tom. In fact, there's the distinct possibility that by the end of the day, we'll all be going to hell. I'll see you there, Diane. The plane is safely landed in Cuba, and all Americans aboard are on their way home with the exception of one couple. A fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist's rendering of what they might look the like. Jetsons? Coming Let's up in this half hour, flies on your face. How many is too many? Sounds like there's a pattern developing, Tom. Oh, a pattern developing. Well, Diane, I guess you've learned a lot from staring lifelessly at TV reruns of CSI over the thrusting shoulders of whatever drifter you drag into your bedroom on whatever night CSI is on. Thursdays, Tom. Our top story tonight, the rules of death no longer apply. That's right, Tom. Our own Asian reporter, Trisha Takanawa, filed this report all by herself. What have I done? <laughs> Fascinating story, Tom. It sure is, Diane. And what since the, the laws of death no longer apply, I can do this. God damn, bitch! That's right, Tom. Damn. Oh, shit! <laughs> and now it's time for sports. Oh, oh, ah, because of ah, an accident today at the Quahog ah, Cable Company, all television transmission <laughs> will be out for an undetermined amount of time. Of course, no one can see this news program, so it doesn't really matter what we say. <laughs> I'm the Lord Jesus Christ. I think I'll go get drunk and beat up some midgets. How about you, Hell Diane? Yeah. Well, Tom, I midgets. just plain don't like black people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're still on in Boston? Channel 5 has just received this message from the electric company. Hey, you guys! Any moment now, the Earth will be sucked into the gaping maw of the black hole. Three, two, one. April Fools! What? You gotta be kidding me. Yes, April Fools. We at Channel 5 News concocted the whole black hole story as part of our commitment to being festive around the holidays. And with only 87 suicides and widespread looting, we think this was a pretty successful practical joke. Well, Diane, that last report was so good, I think you deserve a spanking. Oh, Tom, I don't think your wife would appreciate that. Diane, that frigid old cow lives in Quahog. She can't hear a word I'm saying. Actually, we're back on the air in Quahog.
And oh. reports indicate she has also consumed a record amount of semen. In other news, after several grueling days of frightening uncertainty, I finally get my period. Well, Diane, I'm sure you and your brother must be devastated by the loss of the two-headed offspring that might have been. Tom has dared me to do the news topless. I've got the goods, but if I got the guts, find out at 11. Live streaming tonight at 10.56 for a friend of mine, because he needs this. Quahog is infested with loud, hairy creatures also known as New Yorkers. I was about to say Mexicans. I don't think my answer was any better as theirs. We might edit that out because that's particularly racism. But in my own defense, Mexicans usually have way more hair than me. And I already don't have much. So I'm, I'm a stickler for the, you know what I mean? For, for small details, you know, which is why we're going to edit all of that out. You two are going to have so much fun. <laughs> Don't act any cheerier, Diane. You'll give us all diabetes. Bite me, Tom. James Woods promised to introduce me to Dan Rather. But instead, he introduced me to Danny Bonaducci. I tell you, that guy looks like a dog turning 30. Both of the pilots were killed. Unfortunately for the other passengers, actress Karen Black, star of such films as Nashville and Five Easy Pieces, was on board. Our hats are off to Miss Black for proving once again that given the opportunity, actresses over 50 can land large aircraft. <laughs> Karen Black, what an obscure reference. Diane, didn't your first husband blow his brains out? Oh, God! <laughs> hey. <laughs> I remember seeing that clip from earlier, but it goes together with everything so well, bro. He could play that clip in between like every other five clips and it would make me laugh because it sounds like something that he would do on purpose like every other day just to piss her off. Hey, Diane, didn't your husband die a violent death again? <laughs> <laughs> that means you'll get to ride in the action five news chopper i'm so jealous better put in for some new interns what? you're the killer very clever lois you shouldn't have stopped to say hi to me you would have lived longer why do i ever try to be friends with other women Well, it's a shame that you have to die, Lois, but look on the bright side. You'll be a story on the 6 o'clock news. You know, unless a local cat does something funny. Oh! Diane, please! Please don't do this! I won't tell anybody! I swear to God! Bro, I've really had to beg for my life at gunpoint before. I was just trying to beat some cheeks, man. This chick hit me up, and she was like, yo, come through, the getting's good. So I do what any real man would do in the situation. I get down there immediately. So when I get there, she's with a dude already. He's one of these wannabe gangbanger, do-rag wearing types. The old boy, I tattoos and whatnot. Oh, oh, hypocritical. And the dude, he's talking this smack. So I go ahead and do what any real gentleman would do in a situation, and I start getting with her sister who was complete and agreeable me and the sister man we outside we at her car we making it do what it do in a very very non-dirty way because i don't do that so when we get done listening to music in her car because she like showed me some new music that was real fire we go back up into the bar and uh you know the sister is is acting super drunk and moral of the story is he put date rape in her drink and then pulled a gun on me when I kept him from dragging her off. Like he tried to drag her away and stick her in his car and drive off with her. But I wouldn't let him leave with the girl because she wasn't acting human. She was just like, it was wild, bro. It's like that Rooflin stuff turns off all of their intellect and they're left with just their basic motor skills. Completely basic. Bro, the dude literally had the gun pointed at me. Well, technically at her because she was in front of me at first, but I stepped in front of her. I don't know, man. I didn't know what I was doing. So I step in front of her and I'm trying to plead with him. I'm like, yo, like, I'm not saying don't smash. I'm just saying, wait till she can walk. That's literally what I said to him. And he's like, no, cuz, cuz you getting in my way, cuz. No, damn, I got miss you, cuz. I got heat for niggas like you. And I'm just like, yo, this is my friend. I know her. Get her number and hit her up when she can walk. Just can't got hang out with her later, bro. Like, why are you willing to shoot me? Cuz I'm saying... Wait till she can walk. I don't understand. The homie wasn't with none of that, bro. He had already tried to fight me 
and then pushed me, and then I pushed him back. And when I pushed him, like, he fell and flew up against his car. The passenger car door was already open because I had pulled her out of it because he tried to drive off with her because she's loopy and out of it and on roofless. My issue was I didn't take off on him. I pushed him back. I don't do one to others usually if they won't do one unto me. So I'm usually the dude I'm like, no, you got to start the fight. But this didn't go good in that situation because when I pushed the dude, he fell up against his car. Then he reaches inside of his car up under the passenger side seat, pulls out his gun. The whole situation was convoluted, bro. That's right. You won't. Goodbye, Lois. But it's gonna take that bitch down. It's gonna be me. What type what of What the shit? hell? Ooh. Am I doing them a deal? Ooh. Oh lord, this time I'm gonna need a chainsaw. Oh no! Oh yeah! Ho ho! It's funny cause different voices are coming out of different mouths! Ho ho! Oh no! Oh yeah! Ho ho! It's funny cause different voices are coming out of different mouths! Haha! -ha. Out of all of the character specific compilations I've done, this one was by far the funniest. I thought the Mayor West one was gonna be the funniest one I would ever see. But this one for some reason was just, I don't know, it just spoke to my sense of funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, bro, I got, I'm really gonna work on my news reporter voice. I'm gonna do some news reporter skits. <laughs> <laughs> this is your boy Blasphemous HD, Twisms.